Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing it really well. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. It is gonna be a fun one. We have had a number of sales come through over the last three days. It's Monday morning, 9 a.m. I need to do the post. And I figured let's just turn the camera on and show you these really cool items that have gone on to sell. So a quick snapshot on the numbers. We've had 31 sales come through over just the last three days. The total revenue, $1,164. The fees of 175 bucks at 15%. Postage costs right there at 225, and then the cost of goods that have gone on to sell 132.50. So, 631 dollars in net profit just in the last three days alone, with some really cool sales items. So, stick around to the end, give the video a like, and let's go check out the shoes that we're able to go and sell first. I'm actually going to kick the episode off with an absolute banger here. We've got the Asics Gel Kayano 21s. These are absolutely my most favorite shoe to sell. And they're a real collector's item, which I don't think too many people know about. So to be able to find these in the thrift in great condition for just $5, I had a look at the comps on eBay and I could be talking about 150 bucks for these old used pair of Asics Gel Kayanos. They've ended up selling for $139.99. I took a best offer. I had it up for 150, got it done in the end for 140 bucks. Um, it'll only cost me about seven bucks to post them out and I bought them for the five bucks. So the profit there is almost about $120, a really big get and definitely a shoe to be looking out for. And if you watched my recent uh, flea market video a couple of days ago, I think it was about a week ago, I bought these Predators. Uh, I paid $10 for them. They were a really good pair of footy boots. They were a US size nine men's pair of boots. Now, these have gone on to sell for $65. So the footy boots are still moving for me no matter what time of year. We're coming to the end of the footy season right now, but they are still selling. So if you can find the Adidas Predators, excellent condition, these ones here as well. Uh, 65 bucks was a really cool sale price. Another really fast sales cycle as well were these Mizuno Wave Sky 3 women's running shoes. Uh, these are a pair of US 9.5s. They're in excellent condition, as you can see there. Uh, they've ended up selling for $50. I only bought them last week in a trip to the thrift video. I think it was actually last Tuesday. So about a one-week sales cycle for these shoes. And to sell them for $50 is a pretty standard price point for me. Very, very cheap purchase price. I think I only paid the $4 for these ones. And then the fourth and final pair to sell were these Adidas Swift Run. Just a plain black pair of running shoes, really. Nothing too fancy about these ones, but I was still able to move them for $45. So I was pretty happy to get the result done there. I did take a best offer on these. The profit's probably only going to be more about $20 to $25. I typically like to do about $30. But look, they are great condition. Best offer is sometimes just something you have to do when you've got so much inventory to try and move. Um, so still, $45 I thought was a pretty decent sale price. That was everything from the shoes perspective. Let's dive into the DVDs. So what you're seeing here is a full collection of the 14 sales that have come through over the weekend in the DVD category. Total of $305 worth of sales, an average sale price of $14.50 per DVD. 14 sales, 21 DVDs. This was a bundle of eight Scooby-Doo DVDs that sold for $56.00. And 95 cents. I actually paid a dollar each for those, so eight bucks into 56.95 wasn't too bad. These 9.11 DVDs, I got them in a wholesale bundle, but paid a 50 cents each for them. This one sold for 40 bucks in in plain sight, and this one zero 9.11 sold for 30. So 70 bucks in the 9.11 DVDs, definitely a category to be looking out for. Also got the Vicar of Dibley. I picked that up on Thursday. Really quick sale, 32 dollars and 50 cents for that one there. Uh, big Train, that sold for 22 I believe, and then a couple of $18.50 for those two there. All of these DVDs up here, anywhere between sort of $10 to $15. That Panic Room DVD with Jodie Foster actually sold for $29.95, $20 of it worth of international postage. So uh, look, some huge results there in the DVDs, guys. Like I said, $300 worth of value. I am still selling them. I've got a lot more to sell, and hopefully they will over the next few weeks. We've had some really good wins in the clothing category as well. I've been able to sell this windbreaker jacket. Now, this is a Team Australia A1 Racing crew jacket. Really, really unique item, this one. When I saw it in the thrift, I paid $15 for it, and I just thought there might be a collector out there for this A1 Racing type of category. Now, it's ended up selling internationally. It's off to the UK. I charged $25 for international postage, and it sold for $95. So we got a full 120 bucks for this one. Just a really great get in the windbreaker category. Uh, I do like to find these sort of windbreaker type jackets because I have made some pretty decent money on them. Uh, A1 Racing, pretty unique. You don't often see it. So to get the full top dollar of 120, I was absolutely wrapped with that one. I put a call out to all the female viewers of the channel last week to see if there was any interest 
in this LA Dreaming sweater. And I just really like the look of this. I paid $7 for it in a thrift store. And one of the viewers on the channel has ended up buying this one. They've paid $25 on my eBay store for a best offer. And I was really happy to see this one go to a viewer. So very, very happy to move this one on. We'll get this one out in the post to you today. Thank you very much for your support. If you're tuning into this video, it is very much appreciated. Now, guys, I know I talk about my jerseys quite a bit, and that's because I sell them quite a bit. We've been able to get this Palmeiras soccer jersey done over the weekend. This is a long sleeve goalie jersey. Um, I've sold quite a number of this Palmeiras gear because I found a whole heap of it in the thrift a few weeks back. So that all kind of trickled away. This one is the last of the stack that I was able to get. Sold for 45 bucks, a size medium, Adidas, genuine merchandise, a really cool sell can find these jerseys of any description of any sporting team out there there's always a fan for them and they do go on to sell so stoked to get the result there another jersey out of the door these were the next ones to sell it was a pair of ralph Lauren horse riding pants so i think these are called yodpers or jodpers i'm not 100 percent sure but as you can see there with the stitching uh, on the inside leg they are horse riding pants so these ones ended up selling for 35 dollars on a best offer they were in my store for a good Oh, I'd say almost six months with these. Um, they just couldn't seem to move. I had them up at $45, took a best offer for $35. Only got them for a few dollars in the thrift. But if I found the horse riding pants again, I probably wouldn't buy them. A very fast sell-through rate on these next ones. I actually only bought them uh, last week, last Tuesday. So they're the Elwood Cargo Shorts. So um, Elwood, really good brand. It's the first time I've ever bought it. Um, sold really quick, size 36 waist. I sold these on a best offer. Um, so they've ended up selling for $30. I had them priced up for 35 bucks, uh, but I got 30, uh, 30 in the end. So uh, look, a six-day sales cycle, very, very fast. I don't know, maybe a brand for you guys to be looking out for. I'll talk about how ever reliable Levi Strauss is. We've got the 522s here, 31 waist, 32 length. Uh, these ones have gone on sale for $35. They were in a great condition and um, yeah, was able to get a pretty decent sale price. I generally average 35 to 45, I'd say, for the jeans. Um, so to get the 522s done for 35, I'm not too disappointed about that. These are a really cool pair of jeans. The brand is Diesel. It's probably my favorite brand of jeans to sell. The model of these Diesel jeans was the Zathan. If you can find the Zathan, you'll do pretty well. Found these in the thrift for a couple of bucks. They're a 34 waist, a 32 length, and they've sold internationally. I got a total cost of $99.95, $30 worth of postage, $69.95 for the jeans. Just a used pair of jeans in the thrift that goes on to sell for $100 internationally. There's so much money to be made in so many different categories. I've done pretty well in the clothing over the weekend. Pleasingly, had a couple of book sales as well over the weekend. I am still phasing out of these, but uh, been able to sell the Rachel Renee Lewis Dork Diaries. So there was a book bundle there of six books, paid a dollar each, so six dollars in, sold them for $28.95. So probably whack them into a box and uh, yeah, get them out the door, probably a 10 to $15 profit. The other one sold for $25 and it was this Bathurst 1985 memorabilia book. So Bit of history here for the old racing book and uh, yeah, I just saw this for a couple of dollars in the thrift a few months back and finally got this one done for 25. I'll put some light bubble wrap around this one, put it into a satchel, should be right and ready to go. Something I don't sell a whole lot of guys are the CDs and I had some pretty good results come through for a couple of bundles that ended up selling to the same buyer. So they got both going to go off into the same satchel, I'll make myself a few extra dollars from that as well. These were the uh, ACDC bundles. Um, I picked these up in a recent flea market video only a couple of weeks ago. So a very fast sale cycle yet again for these ones. Uh, $32.50 was the sale price. So 10 bucks into $32.50, not too bad, but when you can accompany it with another sale, it's gonna be even better. The other sale that we had here was Black Sabbath. So these CDs ended up selling for 40 bucks. It's a bundle of four different ones. Um, we had the uh, Paranoid CD, we had the Ultimate Collection, and then we also had Black, uh, Black Sabbath 21st Anniversary Edition as well. So um, overall, guys, $72.50 worth of sales out of those seven uh, CDs. And um, I only paid $14 overall. So yeah, we'll whack them with some bubble wrap into a satchel and we'll get them out the door. And that was a pretty cool flip. And I do love a good hat sale as well, guys. Been able to sell the San Francisco hat. So this was a really nice uh, NFL equipment hat, as you can see, in great condition. Sold for $25 to a very avid San Francisco 49ers fan. So very happy to pick this one up and send it off to him. I'll be putting it into a small box. 
It'll cost me $7.15 to ship and uh, a bit of bubble wrap in there as well to protect it. Uh, the brim, that's the big thing that you've got to be worried about. Just keeping that nice and secure. Um, the rest is generally pretty durable. So nice little quick sale there, $25. I'm always selling my hats. It's always a pretty good feeling when you get the Monday post done. It always takes a couple of hours to do, but uh, to run off to the post office now and drop them off, uh, it does make me feel pretty good about the week ahead. I did just want to give you guys a bit of a breakdown before I leave this video, um, just on my journey, how I've got to this point, doing $630 in profit uh, over a weekend period. I've only started uh, April last year. So April 2020 is when I got into it and I was doing it mainly on Facebook Marketplace. My experience with eBay was very, very limited. I turned full-time reseller in September, a very short period of only doing it part-time because I didn't want to get into the work that I was doing with COVID uh, once that got back on track because it was based in Melbourne. So I thought, let's just get into reselling full-time. November 2020 was the time that I did eBay for the very first time. So only one month into my full-time reselling, I realized that I needed to get onto eBay pretty quickly. So I started to learn that method of selling on that platform, 1,200 items I now have in store. Over the last nine months, I've been pretty heavy about uploading as many different items as I possibly can, learning what I want to sell on the platform. And that's kind of been fine-tuned more and more over the last couple of months in particular. However, right at the very beginning, I was just throwing everything up into there, thinking that I could, if I could generate as many sales as possible, it could be a full-time job. Little did I know there was a lot more work than just putting up items into your store. Uh, I'm now doing 10 listings every single day. Uh, I'm, I'm doing that basically, I was doing about 20 actually uh, when I was building up that 1200, but I've dropped that back to 10 and I'm being able to generate now 10 sales every single day. So uh, it's a really nice little balance for me doing 10 a day. I know a lot of other full-time resellers out there are doing 15 to 20 a day and that's probably more where you need to be, but uh, I'm doing this YouTube channel as well. So I've got a really high focus on bringing as best quality content as I can and um, really spending a bit of time in trying to grow that channel as well. So that's why I'm a bit 50-50 with eBay and with YouTube. Um, I'm spending about $1,300 every single month on inventory. So going out to uh, flea markets, garage sales, thrift stores, $1,300 is pretty much an average spend. And that is now generating me very much consistently $8,000 every single month in revenue through pretty much eBay. So Anyone can do this is what I'm trying to say. My time frame of when I first started is not that long ago and I've been able to get myself down to a point of earning $8,000 every single month. So uh, you know, it's watching videos like this, all the other resellers out there to gain as much experience and knowledge as you possibly can. I really do think my knowledge base has allowed me to generate the $8,000 and to pick up a quicker sell-through rate in the items that I'm now selling as opposed to the items that just simply weren't selling when I was very much inexperienced back when I first started. So um, hopefully that little background there can provide some motivation for you guys. If you are a beginner reseller, if you're just starting out, you want to see where you can take it, you'd be surprised at how quickly you can grow it in a very short space of time. So um, hopefully that's a good little motivator to end the video, guys. I do appreciate you being here. Thanks very much. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed it. A few good sales in there. And uh, if you can, smash the like button. If you did get anything out of it, that'd be very much appreciated. Sub subscribe to the channel as well. It'd be awesome to have you here for a few more videos down the line. And uh, until next time, guys, trip to the thrift on Thursday. Always my favorite day of the week. We'll see you then.